These ordinary looking potatoes may not strike you as pioneering survivors, but these are the potatoes that thrived in salty ground. In the first year we found these results, we didn't tell anybody because we thought we were doing something wrong. Now it's not possible that we have a potato that can grow so well under salty conditions while the rest of the world believes that they should be dead already. The experiment was conducted on the agriculturally rich Dutch island of Tessel. Locals here tell us there are more sheep than there are humans. Arjen takes us to the plot where other fruits and vegetables are being tested for their salt tolerance. It has these beautiful crystals on the, the leaves. The Netherlands already has a packed potato market. It's the third most common crop in this country. So is there space for a new salted variety? In Holland, I think it's a niche market. Yeah, well, we position our potato in uh, yeah, a bit with special sorts of potatoes. And it's not like uh, if you have a big bag, 14 uh, kilo for uh, 5 euros. Yeah, we can't uh, never uh, make that uh, uh, competitive. Sea water covers 70% of the earth. Worldwide, around 250 million people live on salt-afflicted soil. So we're on board the ferry that transports people from the island of Tessel in the North Sea back across to the mainland. But the main market for these salt tolerant potatoes may actually lie beyond Dutch shores. Six tons of seed potatoes have just been shipped over to Pakistan. That's the equivalent of 6,000 of these boxes. This is the Punjab region. In Pakistan, it's 4 million hectares of uh, salinized soils. So that's a big potential already. And worldwide, it's about 1.5 billion hectares. And everybody's considering that as uh, yeah, unuseful, uh, unsuitable uh, land for agriculture. But we're trying to prove them wrong. If the Pakistan project is a success, the creators hope it will revolutionize the global food industry. It's a lot of work. You know, it's not only a salt tolerant crop, it's about your irrigation and drainage management, it's about uh, soil fertility, uh, which fertilizers uh, do you use. So there are many different aspects, but if you combine all these aspects, you can grow food in the middle of the desert. The salt tolerant potato is already on sale in some Dutch supermarkets, but it's five times the price of your average potato. In Pakistan, the potential of this potato is already generating some great expectations. Anna Holligan, BBC News in Tessel.